Once you are finished with a course in Google Classroom, you can take it away from your active classes view and make it so that you nor your students can make any more changes to that classroom by archiving it. When you archive a class, you click on these three buttons and you click archive. I'll ask you, are you sure you want to do this? You will still be able to view the classroom. All the files will still remain in Google Drive. It does not delete anything for you. And you can restore the classroom after it's been archived if you want to bring it back open for any reason. But I think I'm done, so I'm going to click Archive. Now you see it's out of my Active Classes menu. So if I want to view that classroom again or restore it, if I click on my menu sandwich up here, and I have to scroll down to Archived Classes. There it is. That's what those lines across um, the header mean, is that it's archived. So I can click on it. I can view it. I just won't be able to um, make any changes to it. If there is anything I want to do with it, maybe I want it, um, I archive it in the summer, and then I want to bring it back up again in the fall. All I have to do is just click this restore button. Once you do that, your students will be able to access it. You will be able to make changes to your course. Right. Then we click restore. Now, if I go back to my classes, there we go. You can see that it's back into my active classes again. So that is how you archive and unarchive a Google Classroom.